Hi, Tango. So, um, first off, big fan. I love the concept of Decked Out and what you've done with it. And I only wish I had the time and the oomph to do something like that. Um, I, I watch all of your uh, videos on Tango Tech 2 YouTube channel. And a couple times I hear you have problems with something like that, uh, like that map thing that you were having problems with. And I'd like to see if I can figure out solutions. And if I can figure out a good solution, I will help tell you about it. So uh, you were talking about um, decked out the level three, and you were saying that you want to incentivize players to move. And so something I thought up. Um, is something similar to this. I've made a mock-up of what would be level 3, just for example. And what happens is that there are some pressure places at the start, um, places where the wardens can't get to, so they can't accidentally walk over them. What happens is when the player walks over the pressure plates, it has a system here that would um, put droppers in an item from a dropper into a hopper, which will push up this piston, and it'll be locked by a torch underneath it. And this torch will turn off when the game turns off, so it'll stay in here until the game turns off. And what this does is it activates um, a circuitry thing here, it completes the circuit, and um, when when this pushes up, and by the way, this is just this is an example, this is a concept example, right? When this uh, piston pushes up, um, it completes the circuit between this observer and this um, comparator clip, um, pulse extender. It also triggers this observer, which triggers this uh, observer again, turns on this uh, pulse extender, which uh, extends the pulse to this long pulse extender. And um, what happens is this slowly decays over the course of just under 45 seconds. Um, and when it does, um, the signal in the line going out decays, right? And the idea is you would have this line attached to some um, disincentive. So the something bad would happen when this line depowers completely, like uh, adding clank or like extending agronet or something like that. Um, and I made this little board here. It's just a visual display that I wanted to show you that just to you. For demonstration purposes, you can see how it uh, decreases. Um, but this little lamp over here would be the on-off switch. When this lamp turns off, it means that you failed to keep the uh, thing going and um, something bad happens. And then what happens is when this uh, line depowers, when it powers, this piston extends. And when it depowers, it will power into this block, which will turn on this thing um, again, which would reset the whole thing. And the way to keep this line powered, you can see I've dotted, um, there are waterlogged um, sensors in here. And the idea is that you have to trigger them. You don't know where they are. This is just for visualization purposes. Um, and you have to trigger them. And when you do trigger them, um, it'll refresh this line over here, which will extend the time back up to 40 seconds. Um, so if we see that in action, what happens is that if we look over there, when I step over this pressure plate, I've now put the item into the dropper over there. And you can see that it is ex uh, in there and it's extended this to complete the circuit here. And this thing is now powered. And you can see that the uh, thing is slowly ticking down over about 40 seconds. What happens is you have to trigger one of these things to refresh the line. Now, you have to be within this little area over here. Anywhere outside the area doesn't work. So as soon as I step into the area, it uh, triggers it and this thing will refresh. And now you have another 40 seconds, right? And it doesn't work if you're shifting because it's a skull sensor. So um, this incentivizes you to go around the dungeon, and now you might have something where this first skull sensor, like it only works once or twice, and you can't use it like just standard. Um, 
But anyway, the, the idea is that you, you don't know where these are, but you have to trigger them somehow to extend that. And now, um, these would, I don't think you would put these in amongst the aggro nets system. But, um, and these will be like dotted around wherever you can reach them. Um, yeah, and so look, they're surrounded by these um, wool pieces, so that only the players in this little area over here can uh, trigger them, um, and they won't be like triggered by bats or something on the other side. And when this thing completely um, When this thing completely deteriorates, the line over there, has to push it back uh, to light up this thing and it completely extends out again to refresh this and then this light turns back on. So it'll keep triggering this this uh, light over here or whatever the, uh, the bad thing that you want it to do. Uh, and this way the players are incentivized to not shift around the place but to make some sort of noise um, and yeah, I mean, this is just a sl small little solution I came up with, um, but I think it would work great. Light turned off, turned back on again. So um, yeah, I wanted to I wanted to just make a little mock up here of my idea, and hopefully that this inspires you to make something like it or other solutions. Um, and I hope that this works out. And I'm wishing you good luck on decked out, and I'm really 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 happy to see the progress that you've made on this, so, um, yeah, that's it, thanks, bye.